Next, it is my pleasure to introduce our special guest speaker who brings greetings and congratulations to the class of 2020. She is one of the most brilliant and original rising stars of the visual art world and an effervescent speaker performer besides. She calls herself a citizen artist. Her work is about human connection and the transformative power of art and love. She is known for her power figure sculptures, often of women and shaped from repurposed doll parts and other seemingly random objects that at closer inspection reveal themselves to be rich with symbolism. Her work has been shown and collected by many famous museums, as well as by Bates, where we proudly hosted her 2019-20 exhibition, Miracles and Glory Abound. She is the recipient of numerous prestigious awards and honors and has been recognized for her exceptional contributions to American art. If any of you out there in the class of 2020 were fortunate enough to experience miracles and glory abound when it appeared at the Bates Museum this past year, you understand the singularity of her vision and the force of her expression, the density of ideas and materials that she unifies in new and utterly arresting forms the connection she makes among seemingly discrete objects, historical moments, ideologies, and identities reflect a creative inspiration as powerful as it is unique. In a world of division, she is a uniter. In a world of heartbreak, she is all heart, passion and joy, vibrancy and vitality. In a world of waste, she is a reuser, recycler, repurposer, reviewer, reteller, reviver. It is my great honor to present to you the magnificent Vanessa German. Congratulations, you did it. I bet that there were times when you wanted to give up. I bet that there were times when you wanted to throw it all away to get rid of your friends, to go to a place where nobody ever knew your name, that you wanted to just throw in the towel. But here you are. You did it. Congratulations to you, class of 2020, class of clear vision, class of clarity of purpose and sight. Congratulations to you. I am Vanessa German. I'm an artist. My installation, Miracles and Glory Abound, was at the Bates College Museum of Art this year. So first, thank you. Thank you, Bates community. Thank you to everyone that I met when I was on campus, to the faculty that invited me to your classes, and to all of the wonderful students that I met who shared stories with me. You shared your art with me. You asked me great questions. Some of you danced with me on stage. Uh, thank you for that. I am uh, so happy and excited for you that you have made it through your hard times, that you made friends, that you got to eat incredible things, and that you got to know um, so much more of yourself. And in congratulations and celebration of your accomplishment, I have written you a poem to the class of 2020 at Bates College. So the first thing I want to tell you is the truth. You are perfect. You are perfect and you are right where you are meant to be in these strange and wilding days. An opportunity is making itself golden and alive inside of you. It is a rare time and you are a rare human being and you must decide who you will be and how you will go forth for the world is alight and eager. We are waiting for you. We are waiting for your dreams and your ideas for the restless energetic spirit that is rising up within you. We are waiting for you and you through these years of your college experience, you have come to know 
your places of power. You know your places of strength and you know your small places too. You know of the power that resides within you on the inside of the inside of the inside when you are in the click and the groove of the thing that is your thing. You know what right feels like when you are right inside of it. So from this point forward, offer to no one the lie of your smallness. You get to rise to the occasion of who you are and you are whole. So stand in the truth of this truth and move towards the future that is calling your own name with the sound of your own voice. Turn your face towards that song and embrace the truth of who you are for the long game. Bet on yourself. Even if you need to take a leap of faith and it makes your leg shake, it is better to go forth quaking in your own name than it is to claim someone else's hand of playing it safe because the truth is there is no real safety. You will have to become a wing of your own design. You will have to become a wing of your own design and it will be scary sometimes to move forward in that flight. It will be scary and it will be lonely and sometimes it might feel downright dangerous to believe in yourself as ferociously as it will take for you to become who you truly are. It might feel dangerous sometimes to move forward with the vision that it takes to make the art, to architect the building, to power the bridge, to calculate the math, to teach the teaching, to sit, to be taught, to love the love, to climb the ridge of your own fear, to crack the ceiling, to crest onto the other side, and to see what resides in the light that shines within you. You get to decide who you are, where you're going to go, what you are going to do, and what song you will sing when you get there. And you know your places of power. You know your places of strength and you know your small places too. You know the way that you have crafted a muscle of your mind and leapt into ideas and identities, abroad geographies, burgeoning technologies and old philosophies of war. You have written the papers. You have done the tasks. You have laid your hand inside of the hand of your friend, of other students. You have been places you have been changed. You have gone to war with yourself, with your teachers, with some of your friends. You've gone to bat and taken a stand for what you believe in. You flaked out and you have sometimes been silent when you should have been loud. And that is something that you will have to live with. You have been changed and you will continue to change. And all of these experiences are available as ingredients within you for you to form the whole human who you are becoming. That's the task at hand now. The task at hand is to be your whole self. To be your whole self as fearlessly as you can. And you know your power, what's on the inside of the inside of the inside. You know that there is a power that resides within you that is specific to these days and to the strange and wilding ways around us. So find the eye of this storm and see what you need to see. Take your time. Trust your instincts. Follow your strangeness. And know the line of courage that resides right next to your heartbeat. Follow that line of courage. Be creative. This is what the future is asking of you. The future 
wants you to become who you really are, to be bold and rare and weird and contemplative and a wild dancer, a laugher out loud. The future wants you to be unafraid of stillness and hard work. The future is eager for the shine of your ambition, for the heat of your hands at the task. The future is asking you to be vulnerable. The future knows that you are strong. So the future wants your open heart and your heart pounding fears unmasked. If you are afraid, say so. When you are joyful, say so. Neither the now or the past or the future need your pretending those old masks can stay where they were. The future wants your face unfiltered. The future wants your tears. It wants your man tears, your trans tears, your non-binary human brilliant genius exhausted woman tears taking a nap because rest is human. So dance. Applaud yourself. Clap at the end of the movie. Become someone who is emotionally available with your wild, brilliant intellect. Hold your friend's hands. Stand up and be an earthling who refuses to co-sign systems and setups that diminish and divide us as human beings because this is what we have. The longest continually running truth of all time is that we are all here together. So the future then belongs to justice. The future belongs to justice. The future belongs to justice and the truth that we're all here together. We, 99 to 99.9% .9 genetically identical earthling siblings, gravity bound, oxygen breathing beings of carbon, starshine and dust. Mostly we are water and we are ideas waiting to leap. So the future then belongs to human beings who can hold justice at the center of their truth and you all you graduates of now you are rare promising human beings you are the bridge generation you are bridging a past of fastness and desperate injustice to a future that is so eager for your open heart, your brilliance, your capacity to be emotionally available, courageous, vulnerable, and a rocket ship of perseverance. At the same time, you know your strong places and you know you know your small places too. Do not offer yourself the lie of your small places. No rise to the occasion of your own life. You, the graduates of now, you get to decide where you are going to go what you're going to do and what songs you are going to sing when you get there. The future belongs to you. The future belongs to justice. Who are you going to be? Thank you. I love you. I wish you well. I wish you peace and I wish you and I send you forth with a light inside of you shining brighter and brighter with every single step that you take into a clarity of purpose and truth and vision. Be strange. Enjoy your joy. 
find stillness for yourself, to hear the sound of the future calling your own name with the sound of your own voice. Thank you.